Hello, hello. Can you guys um 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 hear me? Hello. Hola. Hmm? Really? I sound I sound okay. Truly, you speak wise. I'm gonna move you guys. <gasps> oh my! Oh, things, things. Um. Oh, we're hyping, we're hyping, we're hagging. Oh my god! Oh my god! Thank you, District Z, for five subs. And um, um. <laughs> Thank you, Spartan, for another five subs. And Phantasma for ten subs today. And 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 bunch of other people. And um um. <laughs> Thank you for Soul Mural for for subbing to a tier two, and and everyone else for being lovely. Hello, sorry. <laughs> I'm all oh, my zone. Hello. Hmm. Dude, we are so close to four. Hmm. Blazing, blazing. Thank you for ten subs. Thank you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh my gosh, thank you. We're so close to 4,000. Oh my god. You guys honor me so much. Sorry I'm all like... Flabber, flubbery, all over the place. Another? Thank you. Thank you very much, Phantasma, for another 10 subs. Thank you. Um, um, um. <laughs> Hope I'm doing good. I think I am. A little frazzled. Everything exploded right when I wanted to get online. Ah, Mr. Clock. <laughs> Thank you for ten subs. Very much. I do appreciate it. And um. Oh my! More people. What's wrong with you people? Thank you. I will wait for it to come as it comes. I'm waiting for you to come, baby. Come on, hit me, hit me! Ah! Next, next, oh, okay, I'm ready. <gasps> Thank you, Aussie, for five subs. Thank you, Aussie. And CK the Mask for five subs. Hmm? What? And thank you, Longshot. Thank you for ten subs, Longshot. Oh, no, no, it's fine. <laughs> Thank you. Why are you guys surprising me? Thank you, Pizza Daddy. Hello. <laughs> Thank you for... Fuck! Thank you for 10 subs, Pizza Daddy. And thank you for 10 subs, um, meat, negative meat popsicle. Thank you. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. Ah, I'm... Oh. Fowler. Thank you, Fowler, for 1,500 bits. I was gonna say Tokis. What? <laughs> Thank you. Hmm? <laughs> Hi. What? I got it. Under control. It's a bit. These are bits and subs. Understand. Stop laughing at me. Thank you, Shaylin, for five subs. Thank you. Hmm? No, 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 I just got on. You're fine. Thank you, Chandler, for $13.37. Lee, eat, indeed, my friend, indeed. <laughs> etchy, etchy, hentai cat girls needs to be a t-shirt. I agree. <laughs> hmm? Oh, golly, one sec, guys.
How is that? How is that, guys? Also, um, um, um. Ah! <gasps> Thank you, Thigh Guy, for $69, man. Hmm? Oh, good, I'm glad. Thank you. Are you sure? I need you guys to be fully honest with me so I can get shit together correctly. You just gotta tell me exactly how you feel. Okay, I'll trust you on it. <gasps> but yes, thank you again, Thigh Guy. Yo, yo, what's up? What's up? So glad to be back as a regular and missed you, homie. Uh -huh. Fanfic time? Oh no. <laughs> thank you. Ah, thank you. Thank you very much. And and thank you for hosting and rating me, Foxy. And some guy for 10 subs. Thank you. And Idol for 10 subs. And, um,. Sonus Draco for 10 subs. There's a Draco in um in the Harry Potter thing. Draco Mal Malfoy. I'm so in the in the know, man. Hmm? What do you mean? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Sorry, I'm all over. I'm all over. I'm just trying to do a million things. Um, but yeah, I um, I really wanted to do a lot of creepy pasta, but I was afraid because um, it kept giving me panic attacks. Ha 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 ha! I know I'm not gonna get murdered by demons with red eyes and serial killers, but um, it felt like it. <gasps> Volcanic Ash, thank you for a thousand bits. Fell down this huge VTuber rabbit hole and loving it. Well, welcome to our world. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but I can read some stuff. <laughs> you should have seen me. I was like, <laughs> Thank you. Oh my. Thank you, the Skull, the skull King for 5,000 bits. If you could fight alongside a common rider, who would it be? Um, fight alongside a Cayman Rider, who would it be? See, I hear Cayman Rider, but I don't actually, um... It's anime, right? I only know Moomin Rider. Hmm? In Doom games, you kill demons with red eyes. I felt pretty doomed. <laughs> My boy. Is best writer, is best wife, Tokusatsu? I'm sorry, I don't... Is the Power Ranger Super Sentai? Oh... Power Ranger! Okay, um, yeah, I don't... I never watched it, so I don't know. Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> and Phasmophobia? Phasma... No, oh, that's right. I tried Phasmophobia, but it made me really disoriented and dizzy. Same with Fifi. We both had the same reaction. Tell you everything you need to know about Con Okay. I can ask her. She's very knowledgeable. <laughs> hmm? Speedwagon is best waifu, easily. Genshin Impact. Yes, that is a game. And I play it. Vertigo from VR games? I mean, yeah, you don't have to be in the game to get Vertigo. Mm -hmm. Thank you. My level is 14. 14 billies. Speaking of 14, let's read some creepy bosses. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I think I. Ah, yes. These are some bad ones, which is precisely what I needed. Still spooky, but also stupid. Hmm? Thank you! I'm the best at transitions. No one is as good as me. I hope you guys are ready to be, um, confused. <laughs> Favorite horror game? No, I don't like horror. So that would be nothing. Hmm? You're ready? Okay, okay, okay. Which one should I go? Hmm. Let's start with this one. Um, I didn't actually read them because I'm supposed to read them with you guys. But I skimmed a little bit. 
This is called Harvest Blood Moon. Harvest Blood Moon. Has anyone ever read it before? It sounds spooky. Okay. I is a man just like you. But one day I woke up to a knock on my door noob. When I went to grub the deer noob, a tingle in my spin said, nope. So I looked through the doorknob and saw my buddy Kyle. He looked like he saw a ghost. So I opened door noob and grabbed flesh dry. Then slammed dur nab on hid face. So plugged flash, flash dive in PSP and PSP turned on. It was harvest moon. I love Harvest Moen, and I am Blib Fan. Now it's start the game, and I uh, went to get some uh, juice because I like to drink juice, not soda pop. When title screen popped up, and in Seed of Normal Moon, it was Mujora's. Mujora's Mask Moon with scary face. It was like a glitch, so I hit New Game, but when I hit New Game, it changed to a bloody moon, and the text was red like blood, and the grass was also red like blooding. When game start, I talked to elves and picked name for me and farm, but instead of my name, it gave me Kyle. I said, no, I not Kyle, I and me, no Kyle. My farm wasn't named what I choose to it to be blood, instead it was hell. And that scared it me so when I got <laughs> when I good it, I drooped my juice on my laptop and the game. It fizzled and red bloody smoke came out in the shape of Kyle. <gasps> he pointed at my PSP and sad, play harvest man. So I listened to Kelly and played hardest meat, so I peaked counting game con Punk, punk, capture, punk, game. <laughs> punk. <laughs> um, wait. And ladded game save, so I leaded farm and went to seed store. And pink hair girl was there, and I talked to her, but she said nothing and stared at me for like 23.7 seconds. I got scared and throw game on the floor and said, No, Kylia, I don't want to play game no more. And I turned off PSP and never turned on a grain. But then I was awoken around my house and the bloody Kyle was staring at me. And I say, What are you doing, man? And Kyle say that he was looking at the school. And, and I say, Stop it, Kyle. You are making me uncomfortable. But he just kept on staring at me, and I say, please stop, but he say, no. That's when I was as fast as I could. That's when I went as fast as I could from Kyle. And he, he say he held up, and I said, no. He said, held up. Ah, and then he got in front of me, and I don't remember how he got in the way that is in front of me and scared me. And then I stopped, and he stopped. Also in front of me, and he swapped me across the floss. Ow! Ice cream. <laughs> Ice creamed for mercy, and he just stepped on slapping me in the face. I was so suppressed that I. Oh my god, that I. bathroomed all over the floor. <laughs> and then. The <laughs> and then the scariest thing happened to Kyle Wu. He started... Okay, that got gross. The end. It was horrible. <laughs> Kyle, no. That's not okay for ghosts to do that. Kyle, no. Hmm? You're watching Food Wars? We're all watching Food... Blah, 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 blah. Me and Ludecast are watching Food Wars. Dude, that shit is tight. Hmm? Dawn down it was indeed and it was terrible. <laughs> Let's see, this one has good pr um, punctuation. I don't see any Kyles in it. 
What's this one about? Oh, they used Talk to Transformer. Have you guys used Talk to Transformer? You enter, um, it's it's a, another AI. Um, hmm? Thank you, Thigh Guy, for gifting five subs. Thank you. <gasps> Silent. You've come here to curse me? Oh, no. I love how in horror movies the person will ask, Is anyone there? As if the killer would say, Oh, yeah, I'm in the kitchen. You want a sandwich? Is that a joke? No, that's a real question. If I was the killer, I'd be like, Yeah, hey, I'm the killer. What's up? Come to kill you, you know. Don't want to be weird about it. Man, these pastas. Here's one. This is called The Spooky Story of the Spooky Man. It was recommended. Hmm? Would you like a Sammy before I murder you? I'm always sus. The spooky story of the spooky man. Warning, this story will explode your head into 10 million pieces. Risk at your own read. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I want to be exploded. That sounds like a whole ordeal. Thank you. <laughs> I think this is a video game one. Anyone remember, um... I'm gonna say Spooky Tales. Never mind. Um... Let's see. This one's weird. How is this one so popular? This is stupid. They're all stupid. Ah! <laughs> I'm afraid the I'm afraid I'm a, okay. <laughs> so many of the spooky creepy pastas, even Jeff the Killer, and there was a clown one. Like I cried a little bit because I was so scared. Who knew? And then someone in chat when I was looking for medium ones recommended Metamorphosis. You fricked in the head, man. Hey, Spen. But yeah, you guys recommended some good shit. Some of it was not that spooky, so that's good for the future. I should definitely review it before. But also, today we are we are doing a dramatic reading of of one of the most important fan fictions on the internet. It is truly the m the most um infamous, notorious. It is known for being the worst of the worst, and it is spooky because it involves Harry Potter, a spooky thing, and she made them Draculas. Already several things that make me scared. It's the My Little Pony cupcakes. What'd they do to the pony? Oh, the Russian Sleeper Project. That was that was put in the <laughs> that was that was put a few times in the chat. It's now a cupcake. My little pony cupcake. How could you make that weird? I'm kind of curious about your cupcake. Cupcake song. It looks fine. There's a lot of thumbnails with blood on them.
You know what? I believe you. That looks like horror. I'm scared. Never mind. <laughs> Why would you do that to ponies? Why? They're, they're there to be good thing in the world. Why would you make them bloody? I want to click on it, but you guys are telling me not to. Spoopy season. Hold on. Next loot cache should be Wednesday. We'll probably change up the, the days, but the next one will be Wednesday before we change it. Um, um, don't do it. I kind of want to do it, but I'm scared. <laughs> what if I just listen? I assume it's music, because it's mostly music in the... Hmm? I'm seeing don't do it and do it. You will regret everything. Oh my god. It involves cannibalism? With the ponies? I'm gonna look at Google Images. I'm just gonna look at the image. I'm not even gonna. Cupcake. I'm not watching that. I'm not watching that. I'm not watching that. I'm not watching that. <sighs> My heart is racing and I don't have one. It was just a picture of people doing um, DIY pony cupcakes and they looked really pretty. And then there were bloody pictures. And there were torture. I feel like if I actually watched the video, I would freak my shit. Cat video? No, I didn't watch the video. I'm okay, but those images. They were like on the old torture things. And they... I don't like that, I'm not watching that. Nope. You're right, you're right. I don't know why I question you guys when you're always right. Thank you, Kirito, for $6.90. Do you like girls in bikinis on roller skates or boys in skirts on skateboards? More, I must know. Probably boys in skirts on skateboards. You were so happy for what? What'd I do? I know, I feel weird now. I feel weird because I saw something that shouldn't exist. <laughs> I'm okay, I'm okay. Um, <laughs> we're gonna read a story, man. We're reading a story. Storytelling, because it's beautiful. So yeah, I hope you're um, feeling cozy. Got your um, your popcorn, because we're reading a classic tale called My Immortal. And I think it's about Harry Potter. And it is a fan fiction. Maximum comfy. And then we can laugh later with Dear Reader. 
Why do I feel so nervous? Ah! <laughs> Maybe I should do it in ASMR voice? Hmm. Let's see. All right, chapter one. Um. Oh, it's the pre thing. Hi, my name is Ebony Darkness, Dementia Raven Way. And I, <laughs> ow, ow, sorry. <laughs> and I have long ebony black hair. That's how I got my name with purple streaks and red tips that reach my mid-back and icy blue eyes like limpid tears. And a lot of people tell me I look like Amy Lee. I do not know who that is. And if you don't know who she is... <laughs> <laughs> then get the hell out of here! <laughs> no! I will defy you, Ebony, Darkness, Dementia, Raven, Way. <laughs> I'm not related to Gerard Way, but I wish I was because he's a major fucking hottie. He's the comic book guy. I know him. I'm a vampire, but with teeth. I'm a vampire, but my teeth are straight and white. I have pale white skin, and I'm also a witch. And I go to a magic school called Hogwarts and England, and I'm in my 17th year because I am 17. I'm a goth in case you couldn't tell, lol, and I wear mostly black. I love Hot Topic, and I buy all my clothes from there. For example, today I was wearing a black corset with matching lace around it, and a black leather miniskirt, pink fishnets, and black combat boots. I was wearing black lipstick, and na 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 Okay. So far, it looks good. <laughs> okay. All right, it began. Hey, Ebony, shattered a voice. I looked up. It was Draco Malfoy. What's up, Draco, I asked. Nothing, he said shyly. But then I heard my friends call me and I had to go away. It looks like the narrator talks to the characters. That's weird. Chapter two? Okay, the next day I woke up in my bedroom. It was snowing and raining again at the same time. I opened the door in my coffin and drank some blood from a bottle I had. My coffin was black ebony and inside it was hot pink velvet with black lace on the ends. I got out of my coffin and took of my giant MCR t-shirt, which I used for pajamas. Instead, I put on a black leather dress and a pentagram necklace. I put on four pairs of earrings? My friend Willow woke up there and grinned at me. She flipped her long waist length raven black hair with pink streaks and opened her forest green eyes. She put on her Marilyn Manson t-shirt with a black mini fishnets and pointy high-heeled boots. Black, black lipstick, eyeliner, foundation, black stuff, stuff, black. Black hair at the end. All right. Hmm? They're very goth. <laughs> oh my fucking god, I saw you talking to Draco Malfoy yesterday, she said excitedly. Yeah. So? She said blushing. Do you like Draco? She asked as she went out of the Slytherin common room and into the great hall. No, I fucking don't, I shouted. She laughed at me. Let's see. Ooh. Draco walked up to me. Hi, he said. Hi, I replied, flirtily. Guess what, he said. What? Well, good Charlotte are having a concert in Hogsmeade, he told me. Oh my fucking god, I screamed. I love GC. They are my favorite band besides MCR. I don't think I know them. MCR is, is chemical. I don't know that one. She got excited. Hooray. I don't think we're in the juicy part yet. This has to be famous for a reason. Hmm? Hmm? 
I know it because I watched all of the Umbrella Academy on Netflix, and it's a comic book, and it was by the guy that did all the music. Hmm? This was written in... 2013? Maybe it was re-uploaded. This sounds old. Um... She totally writes how I write sometimes, though. <laughs> All right, let's see, drink some blood, looks good. Um, coffin, t-shirt, Draco. Okay, I went out, let's see. So she's going to the concert, all right. On the night of the concert, I put on my black clothing goth stuff, goth stuff, and I straightened my hair and made it look all spiky. Ooh! I felt a little depressed then, so ooh. I read a depressing book while I waited for it. Mmm. I drank some human blood, so I was ready to go to the concert. I went... <laughs> Yeah, of course she drinks human blood. She's a Dracula. Duh. Let's see. Yeah, drink some human blood and I was ready to go to the concert. I went outside. Draco was waiting there in his car in the front with a flying car. He was wearing a simple plan t-shirt. They would play at the show too. Black clothing, nail polish, and other stuff. Hey Draco, I said in a depressed voice. Hi, Ebony, he said. We walked in back to his flying black Mercedes Benz. The license plate said 666 and flew to the place of the concert. On the way, we listened excitedly to Good Charlotte and Marilyn Manson. We both smoked cigarettes and drugs. <laughs> <laughs> this is so well written. Are you guys spooked out yet? <laughs> when we got there, we both hopped out of the car. We went to the mosh pit at the front of the stage and jumped up and down as we listened to Good Charlotte. You come in cold, you're covered in blood. They're all so happy you've arrived. The doctor cuts your cord, hands you to your mom. She sets you free into this life. Sing Joel. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, manners! Holy cow, hello everyone, hello, hello! I'm talking about spooky things. We're reading a notoriously famous, terrible, um, um. God, hello everyone, hi! <laughs> How are you all doing today, you nanners people? Neanderthal raid. <laughs> hmm? Chat is fast. You know they're all gonna leave though, because they can't handle how amazing the story is. We're doing story time. We are reading about Harry Potter, Dracula's, and it just began, so it's not good yet. Welcome everyone. Yeah, my immortal. That's it. <laughs> Welcome. I don't know any of these people they're referencing. Jesus. Is it gonna be like this the whole thing? Um, Joel is so fucking hot, I said to Draco Malfoy, pointing to him as he sung, filling the club with his amazing voice. Suddenly, Draco looked sad. What's wrong, I asked, as we moshed to the music? Hey, it's okay. I don't like him better than you, I said. Really? asked Draco sensitively, and he put his arm around me all protectively. Really, I said. Besides, I don't even know Joel, and he's going out with that Hillary fucking duff. I've... Language? There is so much language. She dislikes this girl. The night went on really well, and I had a great time. So did Draco. After the concert, we drank some beer and asked Benji and Joel for their autographs and photos with us. We got GC concert tees. Draco and I crawled back into the flying Mercedes Benz, but Draco didn't go back to Hogwarts. Instead, he drove the car into the Forbidden Forest. Dun dun dun! I assume that's bad. 
horny raid. We're getting horny as well? Who's getting horny on us? Thank you, everyone. It is profanity. I'm offended. I feel like the writer does not speak English as her first language. But then again, she could be 13. Because this makes no sense. Um, alright. Chapter 4. Draco, I shouted, what the frick do you think you're doing? Draco answered, <laughs> didn't answer, but he stopped the flying car and we walked out of it. I walked out of it too, curiously. What the frickin' hell, I asked angrily. Ebony, he asked. What, I snapped. Draco leaned in close, extra close, and I looked into his gothic red eyes. He was wearing colored contacts which revealed so much depressing sorrow and evilness, and then suddenly I didn't feel mad anymore. And then suddenly, just as uh, Draco kissed me passionately, Draco climbed on <laughs> Draco climbed on top of me and we started to make out keenly against a tree. He took off my top and took off ah ah thank you thank you thank you pig pig mass thank you for five subs i appreciate it thank you and thank you kiro again for four dollars and twenty cents no everyone ah, mel will you please go tell everyone to subscribe to evanito with a zero at the end. If he hits a hundred, I know he'll get a Nux tattoo on his face. You should all subscribe to Evanito with a zero on the end. Thank you. Hmm? It is steamy. It's so oddly written that I think I can read it. <laughs> um, I even took off my bra. Then he put his thingy in my you know what, and we did it for the first time. It was in the air that night. The stars were bright. Fernando. Anyone else hearing that? That's what I'm hearing. Like a goddamn pro. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, bother. Um, let's see. Yeah, they did the thingy. Awesome. Oh, oh, oh. I screamed. I was beginning to reach an orgasm. He started to kiss everywhere, and my pale body became all warm, and then... What the hell are you doing here, you mother frickers? It was... Dumbledore. Chapter 5. <laughs> Stop flaming. If you flame, it means you're a prep or a poser. The only reason Dumbledore swore is because he had a headache. Okay, and on top of that, he was mad at them for having the sex. P.S. I'm not updating until I get five good reviews. <laughs> Dumbledore. Dumbledore made and drank Draco and I follow him. He kept shouting at us angrily. You ludicrous fools, he shouted. Dude, I should say that. You ludicrous chat. <laughs> I started to cry tears of blood down my pallid face. Draco comforted me. When we went back to the castle, Dumbledore took us to Professor Snape and Professor McGonagall, who were both looking very angry. They were having sexual intercourse in the Forbidden Forest, he yelled in a furious voice. Why did you do such a thing, you mediocre dunces? asked Professor McGonagall. How dare you? demanded Professor Snape. And then Draco shrieked at them because I love her. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> 
No, this is My Immortal. It's a famous, um, cringe-ass Harry Potter Dracula fan fiction in the, in the spirit of Halloween. Ooh. Apparently it is much older because I'm not getting a lot of these references. <laughs> Harry Potter fanfiction is worse than NTR. Well said. Because I love her. Everyone was quieted. Dumbledore and Professor McGonagall still looked mad. But Professor Snape said, Fine. Very well, you may go to your rooms. Draco and I went upstairs while the teachers glared at us. Are you, like, okay, Ebony? Draco asked me gently. Yeah, I guess. I lied. I went to the girls' dorm and brushed my teeth and my hair and changed into my low-cut black floor-length dress with red lace and... Goth clothing. Draco was standing in front of the bathroom. He was starting to sing. I just want to live by good Charlotte. I don't know how the song goes, I'm sorry. I was so flattered even though he wasn't supposed to be there. We hugged and kissed. After that we said goodnight and he reluctantly went back to his room. <gasps> so they're not going to talk about doing it? First published in 2006. Really? Shailen needs to take inspiration from this. Definitely. So goth, man. I like the part when they're crying um, tears of blood. Because it's like, good attention to detail. They're Draculas. They're probably full of a lot of blood. But so are humans. Are you all Draculas? Chapter 6. Ah, give me good reviews. <laughs> the next day I woke up in my coffin. I put on... Clothing! And I spray painted my hair purple. What? In the Great Hall, I ate some, ate some Count Chocula cereal with blood instead of milk and a glass of red blood because I'm a vampire. Suddenly someone bumped into me and all the blood spilled all over my top. It was so embarrassing. <laughs> Bastardo! I shouted angrily. I regretted saying it when I looked up because... I was looking into the pale white face of a gothic boy with spiky black hair and red streaks in it. He was wearing so much eyeliner. Oh, I was going down his face and his lipstick. <gasps> he looked just like Joel Madden. And he had a sexy English accent. He was so sexy that my body went all hot and I saw him kind of like an erection only I'm a girl so that I don't really get those and you're a sicko. How the fuck did she just write this? He was so sexy that my body went all hot when I saw him, kind of like an erection, only I'm a girl, so I don't get one, you sicko. Dude, this girl needs a goddamn prize for this. That's amazing. I couldn't write this well if I tried. She's going to horny jail. When I, when I, when she said, like, Joel Madden, I'm just imagining a football person. <laughs> girl wood. Yes, that is the scientific term for a girl boner. <laughs> I'm so sorry, she said in a shy voice. For her boner? That's all right. What's your name? I questioned. My name's Harry Potter. Although most people call me vampire these days. Why, I exclaimed. Because I love the taste of human blood, he giggled vampirically. <laughs> really? Wait, well, I'm a vampire, I confess. Really? Nani? He whispered. Yeah, I roared at him. We sat down to talk for a while. Then Draco came up behind me and told me he had a surprise for me. So, um, what the fuck? 
Love you, Melody. You make my night every time, Melumu. Thank you, Los Santos too. Thank you, Los Santos too, for also giving me sixty nine dollars because you are also a kindly mad lad. We have so many kindly people in here, and I I am honored by you. And I apologize for subjecting you to this. Thank you very much. Sincerely. Hmm. Oh God, is this my immortal? It is. How did you know? Thank you. I am having fun. And if you're not, you're welcome to come back later when we're going to watch Dear Reader, which is truly hilarious. It's my introduction to Harry Potter. Although you, I don't, if you're an age of legality and enjoy consuming things that of the age of legality, then I highly recommend it for Dear Reader. <laughs> uh, oh my. What? <laughs> oh, I love you guys too. Thank you. Ooh, pig mask. Thank you. Thank you, pig. For 15 subs, man. <gasps> you like Draculas? That's amazing. Thank you for giving me 15 Draculas. <laughs> oh my gosh. Thank you. <laughs> Dear Eater. Um, 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 um. Let's see. He's a Dracula. She's a Dracula. She left with Draco despite having a new girl boner for Harry Potter. Chapter 7. Bring me to life. Here's her comment. Well, okay, you guys. I'm only writing this because I got five God reviews. And by the way, I won't writ the na next chapter till I get 10 god reviews. Stop flaming or I'll report you. <laughs> Dra okay, um, chapter 7. Draco and I held our pale white hands with black nail polish as we went upstairs. I was was wearing red satanist sings on my nails in red nail polish. I waved to Vampire, also known as Harry Potter. Dark misery was in his depressed eyes. I guess he was jealous of me that I was going out with Draco. Because he wanted to go out with Draco? Anyway, I went upstairs expectedly with Draco. We went into his room and locked the door. Then... We started Frenching! Passively snogging for some of you. And we took off each other's clothes in an enthusiastic manner. He felt me up before I took off my top. I took off my black leather bra and he... And then they did it again. <laughs> and then they had a sex. Oh, Draco, Draco, I screamed while getting in... Standing ovation. Well, all of a sudden, I saw a tattoo I had never seen before on Draco's arm. It was a black heart with an arrow through it. On it, in bloody gothic writing, were the words, Vampire. <laughs> you bastard, I shouted angrily, jumping out of bed. No, <laughs> but you don't understand, Draco pleaded, but I knew too much. You freaking idiot, I shouted. Hmm? Okay, that's inappropriate. Um. I put on my clothes all huffily, and he stomped out. Draco ran out, even though he was naked. He had a really big you-know-what, but it was... T but I was too mad to care. I stomped out and did so until I was in Vampire's classroom, where he was having a lesson with Professor Snape and some other people. Vampire Potter, you motherfucker, I yelled. You know, his you-know-what, duh, come on, duh. Everyone stared at her in class. Na na na. I think she's accusing him of doing a gay? I'm not sure. 
My friend Bloody Mary Smith smiled at me understandably. She flipped her long, waist-length gothic black hair, god damn it, and opened her crimson eyes like blood that she was wearing contact lenses on as well. She had pale white skin and that she was... She has also converted to Satanism. She is in Slytherin now, not Gryffindor. <laughs> she grew her hair out and then it got, she dyed it black. So now she had to move from Gryffindor and now she's gonna move into um, Slytherin because she her hair is different. Duh. Vampire Potter, you mother fricker. <laughs> okay. What is it that you desire, you ridiculous dimwit? Sneep demanded angrily in his cold voice, but I ignored him. Vampire, I can't believe you cheated on me with Draco. I shouted at him in the classroom. Everyone gasped. I don't know why Ebony was so mad at me. I had, um, I had went out with Vampire. I'm bi, and so is Ebony, for a while, but... I hate when they do that. I hate uh, any erotica where it, before they go into the story, they're like, my name is Samantha and I am 18 years old and my boobs are whatever and my height is blurred. And it's just poor storytelling. You can't just up front say like, here's all of the specifics. Terrible. Even if she's 13, terrible story writing. She had a hissy fit and she's not going out with Draco anymore. Wait, Draco? What? Vampire Potter said he's not going out with Draco anymore. And then she screamed at him and ran away to the Forbidden Forest. I ran out of my room into the Forbidden Forest where I had lost my virility to Draco. And then I bursted into tears. Chapter 9. Fifty Shades of Grey is better than this shit. Is it spooky for Halloween? Could we read Fifty Shades of Grey on, um, Twitch? My virility! Ah! <laughs> she took off her top and exposed her virility. Um, I don't think so. No, no, too spicy. We could reword things. He inserted his ham- wait, oh look at He inserted his... Dolphin into her lasagna. <laughs> you do it like that? <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> it's Twilight porn? I didn't think there's Dracula in Fifty Shades of Grey. I heard Fifty Shades started as Twilight fanfic. Oh my god. I don't know about you, but a while ago I saw the first Twilight. Yep. Um. <laughs> you know what? Let's do a little look. Let's do a little look. See, I've heard about 50, but I never, like, I never saw it and I never read it. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Hmm. Are there Draculas in Fifty Shades? It's called a flogger. <laughs> do women do this to you or I do this to women? <laughs> I have rules if you follow and then I'll reward you. And if you don't, I'll punish you. Me? 
You'd punish me? You'd use this stuff on me? Yes. <laughs> he sounds creepy. This would be your room. He sounds real creepy. You're still a virgin. I've just shown you. I know, I know. You've done other things, right? No. Where have you been? Wow, this guy is really freaking judgmental. He sounds like a total perv. Oh my god. What? I don't like him. He's kind of like, um... Dennis from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Ooh, oh my god. Does the submissive agree to be restrained with her hands bound? Does the submissive consent to be blindfolded? Oh my gosh. How many of you guys have read this or seen the movie? He's a pervert, says the perverted webcam star. Oh, you think I'm a star? Thank you. Except Dennis is hilarious. That's the difference, I'd say. <laughs> I've seen the movie, unfortunately. Is it so bad that it's good, or is it just bad? Oh, is Lost Paws here? Aww. No, it is so boring. Just like Twilight. <laughs> Alright, where were we? Hi, Novel! We, um, um, we're reading My Immortal. It's a, it's a Harry Potter Dracula story. And I was just checking out Fifty Shades of Grey and it looks stupid. Stupider than this. Okay. No, 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 no. She's like, is she, this, this child <laughs> writes very oddly. Okay, chapter nine. I was so mad and sad. I couldn't believe Draco for cheating on me. I began to cry against the tree where I did it with Draco. <laughs> Then I'll <laughs> Where she did a sex at the sex tree. Precisely, guys. Dude, this is horror. I hope you're getting scared right now. I saw some dried remnants of our deed on the bark. See, that's some poetry right there, psych. <laughs> we want to fuck at the fuck tree. Get some water if you're scared. Okay. Oh shit, Voldemort's in here. That's the one you're not supposed to say the name. Oh <gasps> shit. Um. Da -da 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 -da, fuck tree. Then all of a sudden a horrible man with red eyes and no nose and everything started flying towards me on a broomstick. He didn't have a nose, basically like Voldemort in the movie. And he was wearing all black and it was obvious that he wasn't gothic. It was Voldemort. No, I shouted in a scared voice, but then Voldemort shouted Imperatus, and I couldn't run away. Ooh. Crookshanks, I shout. What the hell does Crookshanks mean? So like fiddlesticks? Crookshanks, I shouted at him. Voldemort fell um, off his broom, fell of his broom and started to scream. I felt bad for him, even though I'm a sadist, so I stopped. Okay. Ebony, he yelled, Thou must kill Vampire Potter. I thought about Vampire and his sexy eyes and his gothic black hair and how his face looks like Joel Madden. I remember that Draco had said he didn't understand, so I thought, 
What if Draco went out with Vampire before I went out with him and they broke up? No, Voldemort, I shouted back. Voldemort gave me a gun. <laughs> this escalated quickly. Um, no, please, I begged. Thou must, he yelled. If thou dost not, then I shall kill thy beloved Draco. <laughs> How did you know? I asked in a surprised way. Voldemort got a... Dude, you're so dumb. Look on your face. I hath telekinesis, idiot. <laughs> and then... <laughs> And if you doth not kill Vampire, then thou knowest what will happen to Draco, he shouted. Then he flew away all angry and shit on his broomstick. I was so scared and mad, I didn't know what to do. Suddenly, Draco came into the woods. On the sex tree, I assume. I said hi. He said hi. <laughs> Yes, yes, he looks like a goth. I get it? Okay. I asked if he was okay. He said, no. I'm sorry I got all mad at you, but I thought you cheated on me. I expelled. That's okay, he said all depressed, and we went back to Hogwarts together, making out on the way. How do you walk kiss? Is that like walk fuck? I think walk fuck would be easier than walk kiss, because then you can just, like, put the legs and then kind of skip, you know? But kissing, you might trip. You know? What? I'm doing the math in my head. It just looks difficult. Oh, so they take a break. They, they make out and they go a little bit and then they... Okay, that would also work. <laughs> I'm a choreographer. Thank you. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> yes, yes, gothic. I get it. Gothic. So goth. Ooh, language. Um. Okay, chapter 10. I was really scared about Voldemort all day. I was even upset to rehearsals with my gothic metal band, Bloody Gothic Rose 666. I am the lead singer of it, and I play guitar. People say that we sound like a cross between GC, Slipknot, and MCR. The other people in the band are Bloody Mary, Vampire, Draco. Wait, so both of them are in our band? Ron, although we call him Diablo now. <laughs> His hair was black now with blue streaks in it. And Hargrid. <laughs> Diablo and Hargrid, really? Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Only today, Draco and Vampire were depressed, so they weren't coming, and... <laughs> and we wrote songs instead. I knew Draco was probably doing bad things. No, 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 Watching depressing things like Corpse Bride. You guys recommended that movie to me. It's depressing? I put on a black leather skirt and... I put on a black leather skirt that showed off my boobs and tiny matching mini skirt that said simple plan on the butt. You might think I'm a slut, but I'm really not. <laughs> yeah, the skirt to show off the boobs, clearly. I'm really not. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. We were singing a cover of Helena. And at the end of the song, I burst into tears. Ebony, are you okay? Bloody Mary asked me in a concerted voice. What the frick do you think? I asked in an angry way. And then I said, well... <sighs> Voldemort came and the freaking bastard told me to freaking kill Harry. But I don't want to kill him because he's like really nice. Even if he did go out with Draco. 
But if I didn't kill Harry, then Voldemort will freaking kill Draco. And then I cried some more. Suddenly, Draco jumped up from behind the wall. Whoosh! Why didn't you tell me I was gonna be murdered, you bitch? <laughs> you muggle bitch! I started to cry and then cry. Draco started to cry too because he's all sensitive and then he ran out crying because he's sensitive. <laughs> you muggle bitch. Um. Let's see, we practiced for another hour? Then suddenly Dumbledore walked in angrily. His eyes were all fiery and I knew this time it wasn't because he had a headache. What have you done, he said, to cry we- to cry wisely? Ebony Draco has found in his room he died. Chapter 11 <laughs> No. I screamed. I was horrified. Bloody Mary tried to comfort me, but I told her to fuck off. <laughs> As you do, exactly. Dude, should I download, like, preteen mode? Because it sounds real fun. Okay, um, they told her to, to leave kindly, and I ran to my room crying myself. Dumbledore chased after me, shouting, but he had to stop when I went into my room, because he would look like a perv that way if he went inside of the room. Anyway, I started, so I started blasting. Anyway, so I started crying, and then sad things, and then gross things, and then Lincoln Park, and then... Goth again, sad things, um... Oh! Then I looked out the window and screamed. Snap was spying on me and he was taking a videotape of me. And looping was... Mas... Masticating to it! They were sitting on their broomsticks masticating to her outside the window! Oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> She's gonna be so delicious! <laughs> Wait, so... <laughs> is this my immortal? It is! <laughs> Isn't masticating a cooking word? I feel like I heard it on like... A British baking or something. <laughs> Christian music stops. <laughs> chewing. Oh, chewing. Ooh. Chewing. They were... And Lupin was chewing to it. I think she meant masturbating because she said masturbating. She yelled out the window, Ew, you fucking perv! Stop looking at me naked, are you pervs? I screamed, putting on a black towel with a picture of Marilyn Manson. Suddenly, vampire burst into my room. Abracadabra! <laughs> a Abracadabra! Arbarcadabra! He yelled at Snape and Lupin, pointing his womb? I took my gun! and shot Snap and Lupin a gazillion times and they both started screaming and then the camera broke. Suddenly, Dumbly Door ran in. Ebony, it has been revealed that someone has no. He shouted looking at Snape and Lupin and then he waved his wand. So a lot just happened. Um. So I started blasting. <laughs> Ebony, it has been revealed that someone has no. 
Man, what's Dumbledore gonna do next? He waved his wand and then suddenly... Har Hargan... Har Hargrid ran outside on his broom. So he flew outside. He ran outside on his broom and said, Everyone, we need to freaking talk. What do you know, Hargrid? You're just a little Hogwarts student. I may be a Hogwarts student, Hargrid paused angrily, but I am also a Satanist. This cannot be! Snap said in a crisp voice as blood dripped from his head while Dumbledore's wand had shot him. There must be other factors. <laughs> you don't have any, I yelled in madly. Lupin held up the camera triumphantly. <laughs> the lens may be ruined, but the tape is still there. I felt faint more than I normally do, because I don't drink enough blood. Why are you doing this, Lupin? Ad Lupin said angrily while he rubbed his dirty hands on his cloak. I think she means cloak. But I'm gonna pretend she doesn't. Rubbed his dirty hands on his cloak. <laughs> hey baby, can I see your cloak? What's up? <laughs> so wait, so now. Now Hargrind also shot someone. Try elephantly is probably the best word so far. Hold up the camera. Try elephantly. <laughs> Cloaca is pretty good, but I don't know. Something about his fluke. Um, and then I heard the words that I had heard before, but not from him. I did not know whether to feel shocked and happy or to bite him and drink all of his blood. Because I was feeling so faint. Because. Because Hargid said, and he paused in the air dramatically, waving his wand in the air. Then swooped he, then swooped he, and singing to the tune of a gothic version of a song by 50 Cent. Because you're gothic, Snap asked in a little afraid voice because he was afraid it meant that he was connected with Satan. Because I love her. Chapter ends. So a lot just happened. I don't understand. I think some people are dead. And someone's got a gun. This is quite dangerous. Hmm? This shit is interesting as fuck. This shit is poorly written. I'm sorry to insult 13-year-old girl from 2006, but, uh, she could've did better. I'm not gonna lie, she could've... I, I don't write fanfic, but I don't know. I feel like she could've tried a little harder. Is it over? No. <laughs> when it is, we'll watch to your reader. Mmm, elephant. Satan. Okay. You can't say that. Ooh, I'm not going to say that on Twitch. I'm not going to say that on Twitch. I'm going to say that on Twitch. Ooh, I'm not going to say that on Twitch. Chapter 12, not going to say that. I'm not going to say that on Twitch. Okay. No! I thought it was hair grid, but it was vampire. He started to scream, OMFG, no, my head scar hurts. And then his eyes rolled up. You could only see his red whites. Okay, I, I stopped. How did you know? I saw it and my scar turned back into the lightning bolt. No! I ran up closer. I thought you didn't have a scar anymore, I shouted. I do, but Diablo changed it into a pentagram for me, and I always cover it up with foundation, he said. Anyway, my scar hurt, and it turned back into a lightning bolt, so save me. Then I had a vision of what was happening to Draco, Wolfenmort, 
has him in bondage. Ooh, this is fun. This is fun. He has him in bondage. <laughs> Wolframer. <laughs> mm -hmm. Very kinky. Okay, so let's get on to this bondage. Anyway, I was in the school's nurse's office, now recovering from... Censored. Snap and Lupin and Harrod were there too. They were going to St. Mingo's after they recovered, because they were... Ooh, language, 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 language. I flipped them off. Anyway, Hargrid came into the hospital bed holding a bouquet of pink roses. Ebony, I need to tell you something, he said in a V-serious voice, giving me the roses. Fuck off, I told him. <laughs> Jubilantly. Um, you know I freaking hate the color pink, and I don't like... No, 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 She was mean. No, Ebony, Hargren said. Those are not roses. I'm a goth, don't give me pink flowers. I saved your life, he yelled angrily. He's celebrating that he killed the other teachers for not leaking her naked video on the internet? Whatever, I yelled at him in a teenage fashion. He pointed his wand at the pink roses. These aren't roses. He suddenly looked at them with an evil look in his eyes and muttered, Well, if you wanted honesty, that's all you had to say. That's not a spell, that's an MCR song, I corrected him wisely. I know, I was just warming up my vocals. Petulous, Meringomi, McCreamily, <laughs> Romanico. Emo Noto Okayo. That's his incantation? And then the roses turned into a huge black flame floating in the middle of the air and it was black. Now I know he was a goth. <laughs> okay, I believe you. Now what the fuck is Draco? Hair grind? <laughs> Rolled his eyes. <laughs> Hair green is the best one. I looked into the balls of flame, but I, I could not see anything. I have found myself, you old man. Wait, there was something magic. I read fist myself. Mmm, I guess the magic teacher contacted her. It's very confusing. Hairgrind stormed off back into his bed. You are a liar, Prof Dumbledore. <laughs> anyway, when I got better, I went upstairs and put on the black... ...complicated outfit. Oh my god, they talk about it for a while. You look so kawaii, girl, Bloody Mary said sadly. Fangs, you do too. Get it? Vampire joke. I said. <laughs> Where's my music? God. Where did I put it? I think it fun. <laughs> Fangs, you do too. Ooh, ooh. Halloweeny sounds. Is that loud enough, guys? Oh yeah, baby, you like that mouse click ASMR. 
I feel like I'm a little kid with other kids and we're sneaking into like a building. We're being spooky sneaky. You know? <laughs> yeah, fangs, you too. Um, I said sadly as well, but I was still upset. We did something bad, cannot talk about that on Twitch. I cried. Um, talked about being recorded by her pervy teachers who are now dead. She went to class. Vampire was in the hair of magical magic creatures. <laughs> he looked all depressed because Draco had disappeared and he had used to be in love with Draco. He was sucking some blood from a Hufflepuff he and Hi, he said in a depressed way. Hi back, I said in a w squally, wa wakaliki wa kind of way. <laughs> we both looked at each other for some time. Harry had beautiful red gothic eyes. God damn it, stop saying that. Much more beautiful than Draco's. <laughs> then we jumped on each other and started screwing. Oh my god, that escalated quickly. Oh boy, they're doing more than the the you know what? They're s they're doing hardware. They're screwing and hammering and sand. They're using the sand filter, all right. Oh golly, there's light bulbs everywhere. <laughs> oh, I love the teachers. Stop it now, you horny simpletons! Shouted Professor McGoogle. Who was watching us, and so was everyone else. Vampire, you fricker, I said, slapping his face. Stop trying to screw me. You know I love Draco. I shouted and then ran away. He's dead! Fuck! <laughs> this is very, very difficult. Oh my god. I said I'd read it. <laughs> All right. And then he started to scream. OMFG! No! My head scar hurts! And then his eyes did a rolling up, and you could see the red whites again. No! I ran up closer. I thought you didn't have the scar. Whoa, you're repeating all this, chick. She is repeating all of this. Get your shit together, raven, goth, penis, lightning, moon glow, whatever the hell your name was. Gerard Way is hot. Okay, Jesus, chapter 13. <sighs> Vampire and I ran up the stairs looking for Dumbledore. We were so scared. Dumbledore, Dumbly Door, we both yelled. Dumbly Door came there. What is it that you want, you despicable snobs? He answered angrily. Voslemort has Draco! We shouted at him at the same time. Volslemort. Han- <laughs> Dumbledore laughed in an evil voice. No, don't. We need to save Draco, we begged. No, he said meanly. I don't give a gosh darn what Voldemort does to Draco. Not after how much he misbehaved in school, especially with you, Ebony. He said while he frowned, looking at me. Besides, I never liked that guy much anyway. And then he walked away. Vampire started crying again. My Draco, he moaned. Then she says some more homophobic shit. Move past that. Okay. I tried to tell him that... I tried to, it's okay, I tried to tell him, but that didn't stop him. He started crying tears of blood because he was a Dracula. Then he had a brainstorm. I have an idea, he exclaimed at me. Uh, uh, uh. You'll see. He took out his wand and he did a spell. Then suddenly we were in Volthamort, Vol Volimthamort's lair. Voldemthert's lair. <laughs> We ran in with our wands out just as we heard a croon voice say, Allah Kedavra. It was Voldemort. There's a note under here. I meant Avada K 
cadaver. Okay, chapter 14. Very homophobic, very... Nope. Warning, some of this chapter is extre extremely scary. Viewer excursion advised. I'm scared. Uh-oh, she gave us a warning. This is the scary one. Hold on. That's too scary. Hold on. Let's see. I think maybe another chapter or two and then we can watch Dear Reader because this is... This is hard. <laughs> cool. I read as much as I humanly could despite not being a human. Understandable. Let's see how scary this is and then we'll watch Dear Reader. Get get your get your food and drink situation together. What do you mean? We have thirty more chapters of the go. The hell I am. The hell I am. If you buy me a tiger, okay, fine. Then I'm kind of obligated. But the hell if I am. Hell nah. I don't need to know more about fuck, what was his name? Madden and Simple Simple Not Simple Good, simple, shit, I don't remember, Slipknot, I knew that band. I don't need to learn more about her simple knots or, or black lipstick. I'm okay, I'm over it. Hargrind, though, is, is definitely my favorite character. Okay, so here's the extremely scary viewer excretion <laughs> as mine. <laughs> Well, you heard her. <laughs> okay, okay. Here we are. Let's we'll do it. Hold on to something. Hold on to your stuffed animals. This is going to get scary. She told us. Okay. Chapter whatever the hell. We ran to where Voldemort was. It turned out that Voldemort wasn't there. Instead, the large man who killed Cedric was. Draco was there crying tears of blood. Snaketail was torturing him. Vampire and I ran in front of Snaketail. Who's Snaketail? Rid my sight, you despicable preps, he shouted as we started shooting him with the gun we had. <laughs> Then suddenly he looked at me and he fell down with a lovey-dovey look in his eyes, he said. And in this he is 16 years old, so he is a pervert. Ebony, I love you. Will you have sex with me? asked Snaketail. I started laughing crudely. Nani the Frick. You torture my boyfriend and then you expect me to give you a sex? God. Na -na -da 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 -da. Then I stabbed him in the heart. Blood poured out of him like a fountain. No! He screamed. He started screaming more and running around, and then he fell down and died. I don't know why, but I started crying. Snake tail, what art thou doing? called Ward Lamort. Then he started coming. We could hear his high heels. Hmm. We could hear his high heels clacking to us. So we got our broomsticks and we flew to Hogwarts. We went to my room. Vampire went away, and then I started crying some more. What's wrong, honey? Asked Draco, taking off his clothes so we could do a sex. He had a sex pack. Get it? Cause he's so sexy. Give me the gun, please. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> you don't get it. It's okay. You don't need to get it. It's, um, <laughs> okay. I got it. No, I can get through it. It's fine. Uh, sex pack. 
He had a sex pack and a really huge you-know-what and everything. It's so unfair I yielded. Why can't I just be ugly or plain like all the other girls and preps here except for Bloody Mary because she's not ugly or anything? Why would you want to be ugly? <gasps> sexist, sexist, homophobic. Yeah, but everyone is in love with me, like Snap and Lupin. They took a video of me naked, and then Handgrind said he's in love with me. Vampire likes me, and now even Snake Tail is in love with me. I just want to be with you, okay, Draco? Why couldn't Satan have made me less beautiful, I shouted angrily. And don't worry, Ebony isn't a snob or anything, but a lot of people have told her she's pretty, so this is how you know. I'm good at too many things. Why can't I just be normal? It's a fucking curse, I shouted, and then I ran away crying. Man, her life is hard. Damn it. Confound you, Satan, for making me so attractive. Please don't tell me she's reading my immortal. I'm finishing my immortal because I cannot go on. This is truly offensive in various ways. And I feel that I am getting dumber over time. I could either continue this or I could put my head in the microwave. So, why don't we just watch something funny? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I'm just skimming down. Um, I hate that instead of gothic she writes gothic. And that she uses numbers when she writes things like nightmare. Yeah, I will, I will miss out not learning more about Diablo, but it's probably for the best. And then she speaks in uwu for a while. <gasps> what if she started it? Wearing a, bl was wearing a, a black robe that said Avril Lasagna on the back, and we shot it a spell, and Voldemort ran away. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> let's, let's put on Dear Reader. I'll be right back. Go knock your heads on the wall for a bit. Just give me a sec. 